Uh, in this video, we're gonna show how to use a counter to end a modern run, uh, and it's only applicable or the best example for it. What happened in the bank? So they keep uh, even after the normal working hours, they keep running the system till all the units in the system they exit the system. So it's not controlled by the working hours; it's just controlled by two factors: the working hours has passed, has finished, and the system is empty. So let's see how it works. So here, by default, we specified infinite number of units, but any entity created after five or ten minutes, it will go straight to dispose. Five hundred ten minutes is almost about eight hours and a half. <coughs> okay. So every every person comes into the system. We use them as a counter to put numbers of people in the bank plus one. And every person exits the system, we 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 count it as my one. Okay. And by default, so when we have, we're gonna see it as an, as an expression. So when we have the t now greater than length of the day, the length of the day is equal 510 minutes, and number of uh, number of counter, which is number the bank <coughs> equal to zero, the system will stop. Okay, the system will stop, which is the record here, which is the end run. So when we, if we come to the, uh, if we come to the advanced process st statistics or the statistic comes here, number in the bank, and end run limitation is equal to one, which is the one we, we must consider. So I'm gonna consider again. So. When we come to the record here, the record if the value will be incremented, if this value is okay and it is uh, applicable, so in a way increment or plus one on the value if this expression is correct. Okay, uh, so if you have any question, please email my address, uh, email me, the email address is provided in the box below. Thank you.